Here's another demo of the ATW802 on the standard Atari Mega ST. So what we do here is we're starting a shell. In this case, it's Mopfl. And then we change into a directory and we start a batch file. And soon you will see on the screen that the FPGA has initiated the transputer and is now loading, loading the Doom what file? Yes, that's Doom 1.8, the public domain version. And it's now loading all the parts coming from the what file, which is four megabytes in size. So you see the LED down there is flickering and it's loading the whole file and all the components which are in there. So it starts with the refresh daemon and after that it loads other parts which takes quite a while so we're speeding up the video four times so now it's loading the flats after it had in it the, the textures and while this is loading we're setting back the speed to normal it's in it initializing certain things and then after that it's ready to go so it now initializing the scaling which is also handled by the transputer and there we are we have the splash screen of doom as we know it and soon time demo starts and this is the normal demo as we know it running on the transputer as a transputer binary on the FPGA sitting on your ATW802 card it is just the demo. There's no way to control it yet, and there's no audio to it. But the speed is quite okay. The, if there's some lagging, it's mostly because of Doom is loading or fetching new parts from the f from the what file. And if you're looking down next right to the CPU, you see the LED which sometimes blinks while loading new parts, new sprites, new models of the level running. So there it is. As said, this is just a demo to give you an idea what is possible to do with a card and what's probably coming up the next months and probably years. So your card will be enhanced continuously with new features and probably one fine day you will be able to play Doom on your standard 8 MHz <laughs> Mega ST. Well, actually, the hard stuff is handled by the transputer then, but still, we as a team think that's pretty impressive. And so, with that, I leave you with a couple of seconds more of the demo. And that said, we wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Thank you.